Hey guys, new video today. This one's called Triple Double, and I hope you like it. Uh, now, as far as the name goes, the triple refers to the fact that we're going to have uh, not one card, but three cards chosen, hence the triple. And the double refers to, as you can see, the fact that we've got two decks of cards. So this is Triple Double. Hope you like it. I've got a blue and a red. Uh, if there was a spectator here, I'd let them pick either deck. It really is a free choice. Uh, let's say they go with the blue. The red uh, could go in their pocket, or they could hang on to it uh, just somewhere out of sight for now. So I'll put it uh, just there in the corner of the screen. Now if we take out blue cards, just give them some cuts here. If there was a spectator here, what would happen is I'd just uh, very slowly just spread through the cards, and like I said, I'm going to have three cards selected. Uh, so the spectator could reach in wherever they want uh, and just touch any card that they want. And we'll do that three times. So uh, it really is a free choice. I would say they go with this one here. Go a bit further down. Uh, maybe this one. These really are random choices here. And maybe this one right here. Three cards. Uh, no funny moves or anything. All we're going to do is we're going to flip them uh, face up, so they're face up uh, in the deck here. So we'll go with right there, we got the Jack of Hearts, good card, six of diamonds, and last one here is a three of hearts. So if we spread through, all we should see is three randomly chosen cards uh, just face up uh, where they were. So we'll gather up the pile here, again, no funny moves, and at this point, we will use the red deck. We take out the red cards, just put them down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the cards uh, one at a time, flip, uh, flip over the top card of each pile, and we're going to see if any of the cards happen to match. Uh, that'd be a pretty cool coincidence, right, if I turned over uh, both cards and they were both the same card. That'd be kind of, uh, kind of cool, so we'll see as I flip through the cards, if uh, if anything like that happens. So we'll start, eight of hearts, four of hearts, nothing there. We'll just go through, nice and slow, the top cards, of both piles, seeing if any of them happen to match. Nothing so far, as you can see. We've come to the first card, jack of hearts, that was the first selection. Now it'd be pretty cool if uh, on top of the red deck right now happened to be the Jack of Hearts. And if we look, in fact, that is the Jack of Hearts, the same spot. Keep going, we're one, one for one so far. Again, as you can see, none of the other cards are the same. Next selection, the Six of Diamonds. I haven't seen a Six of Diamonds yet in this pile, and I think if we look, just as the Six of Diamonds is right here, right here we have the other Six of Diamonds. Two for two so far. Let's keep going. Work our way towards the bottom. No matches. None of the other cards match. Then finally we come to the last card, the Three of Hearts, and I think by now uh, you know what's going to happen. Of course, right over here we have the other three of hearts. We can even finish out the two decks if you want. See that none of them are the same. Again, only the three free cards chosen by the spectator matched up. So that's, uh, that's Triple Double, uh, kind of a decent trick. Hope you guys liked it, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.